Update 5 was disappointing, but this is not another video where I just complain about Update 5. Actually, I can explain why it was so disappointing. To begin with, Update 5 as a whole um, was like an account. I mean, we only got two islands and a couple of bosses. Two islands is too little. Especially now that we have waited almost eight months. So we had waited eight months for two islands. Which most of the island is not even usable, you know. Most of the island is spent in the actual castle, at least for the broken. The other island is small and it's only used to get observation hockey V2. Regardless, though, to begin with, update 5 was stalled for so long and was honestly so lacking content because they only was working on it for basically two months give or take you could add like two months on it so max they worked on it for four months if you want to give it that much and so if we bring generous we could see that they have been only working on the update for four months out of the eight meaning the other four the other you know four months were spent doing probably other stuff maybe developers were out there working on their own games maybe working on other people's games making making, making their own projects selling their own assets who knows what they were doing in that time maybe they were just living their lives of course but now here's the deal though i believe they allowed this to happen because the game was going to become free so they didn't they didn't, they didn't need to create a lot of content because a lot of new players will be able to come into the game and will are going to be able to play the already the content that's already there right so they don't have to say they don't have to satisfy the actual you know the players that they actually had the paid access players they just had to satisfy the new play that's why they focus in on this update on do making things very very convenient for these uh, players by revamping a lot of stuff they revamped a lot of stuff they made new game passes they made so much stuff like the inventory they fixed that up i mean they fixed the graphics up just in case you know and you know, just to make it like extra you know beautiful so before the new players came in they made the fruits, you know, they made them look better, they updated the models. So as a whole, they just reworked and revamped everything as a whole in the game. Just so, you know, everything is correct and they added a bunch of fruit. So this update was more uh, directed so that these new, you know, free players will be able to enjoy and, you know, uh, feel themselves in this, you know, new game. Rather than for these, you know, people that pay, had paid access. Which is why, you know, what had happened happened. Of course, from now on, I believe maybe the updates will be more or less, you know, more content or less content. It depends because it completely depends on what direction the owner wants to take this, right? So to begin with, now that, you know, Fui actually has a bigger developing team, he has a lot more developers around his belt now, I believe maybe the updates will be a lot you know bigger hopefully but it could be that he's still pushing the same amount of work and effort since you know if he doesn't really need to exert more effort if he doesn't really need to you know there's not really no reason since he always is getting that result so at the end of the day we have to admit that um as a whole now that the games go free probably he will make more money and the reason he will make more money is because of the game pass the microtransaction like everything is on the game pass like the microtransaction in these games are so many like you have to buy to reset your feet you have to buy to reset your stats it's so ridiculous how many robux spending things are in this game and so a player trying to play this like regularly they might eat a suke you know by chance just because they didn't know and now they have to actually reset their fruit when they're max or whatever when they realize they have to switch first and then they have to keep doing that they have to you know maybe reset their status occasionally maybe they have to you know uh, maybe they want to change stuff maybe they want to be by a game pass maybe they want to you know get a you know any kind of thing right and so naturally they will be spending money so that's why i believe they'll have more money but does that mean that they will work better now just because people that have money doesn't mean that they will work more you know sometimes it means the opposite they work less since they make since the result comes easier than you know what they need to work for so as a whole what i believe the updates will be in the future the updates may be the same or they may get worse as in they have less content i believe it will remain the same though this this around like maybe two islands a couple of fruits just like you know, small updates 
and that's all I want to say. Peace out and have a good day. Check out the video I made yesterday. I was talking about something I forgot.